and welcome everybody to Pour Your Heart Out. We're so grateful that you're able to join us virtually for the Anti-Cruelty Society's annual event to raise funds to care for and protect animals in need. I'm WGN's Paul Lisnick. I'm going to be your host for today's program. And today, we celebrate the society, their vital work, and the community partners who help them care for any animal in need. The Anti-Cruelty Society is an open door to compassion. Their mission is to help pets and educate people. Now, many people are aware of the adoption services that help place thousands of pets with loving families every year. But you know what? There are many other vital services they provide to our community. A team of three state certified investigators are specially trained to address animal abuse and neglect in the field. The Society has been especially focused during the pandemic and beyond on providing safety net services for pet owners to allow pets to remain with their families. Programs such as the Pop-Up Pet Food Pantry and SAFE, a short-term animal care option for people who are temporarily unable to care for their pets due to illness or homelessness. Now, many education programs have moved to a virtual platform, such as the Pet Loss Support Group, Cats and Mats Yoga, Storytime with Muffin, and Urban Dog Training. Hey, this is Pumpernickel, and you can help pets like Pumpernickel who rely on the society for food, a warm place to sleep, and medical care until they find their forever home with a loving family. I might just take her home. Speaking of, I was fortunate enough to adopt my dogs from the Anti-Cruelty Society. Look, even this tie I'm wearing, yeah, that's Mertz. He was my soulmate dog, and I found him here at Anti-Cruelty Society. And I wanna briefly tell you the story because I think it was kismet. I was getting gas across the street at a Shell station, and it turns out that it was 2 p.m. And for some reason, when they change shifts at 2 p.m., you can't buy gas, who knew? So they said, come back in 15 minutes. Well, I was across the street from the Anti-Cruelty Society. And I figured there's no better way to spend 15 minutes than go visit some dogs. So I walk in the front door and there's a woman there and she's playing with, well, you know the end of the story, right? She's playing with this little puppy schnauzer who was to become my Mertz. And I went crazy. And I said, can I play with him for a while? And she said, sure. And I said, are you gonna adopt him? She said, yeah, I am. Oh, well, I said, I'll just play for him for a few minutes. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, she sort of had this shift and she went, I don't know if I'm ready to own a dog. I need to go think about this. And I said, well, go ahead and I'll, I'll play with them until you come back. She never came back. And he came home with me. Mertz truly became my soulmate dog. I've had others since then, you'll hear about them, but, uh, but for him, it was so special and it's when I fell in love with the Anti-Cruelty Society and since then, I just can't find enough ways to help out in every way I can. In fact, if you go into the dog adoption room, you'll not only find that uh, some pictures of my family and me there, but you'll find the cage that Mertz was in, the, the condo, if you will, that he was in. It's named for him now, and I'm always gonna keep it that way because he changed my life. And one of these animals, maybe Pumpernickel, will change your life too. Pour Your Heart Out is the Anti-Cruelty Society's chance to thank the donors, volunteers, and supporters who help them do the amazing work of caring for thousands of animals every single year. You can help support the animals of the Anti-Cruelty Society by making a donation, bidding on silent auction items, and sharing this event with your friends and family. Trust me, I'm doing that, I'm donating, and all the money raised during this event will help the society serve the community and animals with its open door to compassion. And now, I want you to hear from one of our strongest supporters. He's a board member of the Anti-Cruelty Society, but more importantly, maybe to me, he's a friend. When one of my dogs has cancer, Dr. Shelley Rubin was there to call, to check, to advise with an open heart. He cares so much. Please welcome Dr. Sheldon Rubin. Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Shelley Rubin, and my wife, Paulette, and I'd like to welcome you to Pour Your Heart Out. Since we have gone virtual, we have attendees from all over the country who will lift their glasses with me tonight and enjoy the fun and camaraderie. My wife and I have been honored to be a sponsor of this great affair since its inception. I'm a retired veterinarian now, after fulfilling a 53 years keeping Chicago pets healthy. I've been an active board member of the Anti-Cruelty Society for over 30 years. 
Owning a veterinary practice that took seven days a week of my time, I'm often asked, where did I have time to volunteer? I've always believed that besides my oath and ethics of being a veterinarian, I felt an ethical responsibility to give back to the community. In my situation, it was like giving services to the organizations that could use my help, such as the veterinary organizations where I was president and the Anti-Cruelty Society, where I could help find every adoptable pet a home. More than a shelter, ACS is a comprehensive animal welfare organization whose mission is to build a community of caring by helping pets and educating people. With that mission, how can you say no to serving? There are many fulfilling things in my life from having a loving family, wonderful loving children and grandchildren, and the personal satisfaction of leaving a mark on my profession and hopefully on the Anti-Cruelty Society. Soon we will all be together again and we can hug and discuss what fulfills your lives, but I encourage you to help ACS continue to be the open door to compassion and giving every adoptable animal it fosters a forever home. Next, you will meet Annie, an extraordinary dog who has changed the lives of many people. Stories like Annie's are exactly why I'm so proud to support the work of the Anti-Cruelty Society. Meet Annie. Annie was found under a bridge in Chicago's Humboldt Park neighborhood the week before Thanksgiving. When she arrived at the Anti-Cruelty Society, she was very timid and frightened and badly in need of some veterinary care to treat her wounds. With a commitment to helping animals in need, our team rallied together by providing immediate shelter, a healthy diet, expert medical attention, and lots of loving care. When Annie first came into the clinic, she was in pretty bad shape. She had multiple wounds all throughout her body. She had a large laceration that was gaping on the back of her left front leg. She had another laceration behind her right hip. She also had a wound on her tail where the overlying tissue was removed, exposing about three inches of bone. She had two infected puncture wounds on her forehead and numerous other smaller puncture wounds and lacerations throughout her body. The wounds were not fresh, so we had to get them in a little bit better condition before we could suture them up. We got her into the clinic and got her started on some pain medication, antibiotics, and wound care. After several days of this, we were able then to suture her wounds and amputate her tail above the exposed bone. Aside from her physical wounds, she also had emotional wounds. She would cower in terror in the back of her kennel when she first came in. So when Annie arrived, she interacted with me. Um, she was very shy. And, um, you know, just like with probably most everyone here, at least the humans, um, she probably just had her own way of um, allowing us um, to you know, pet her, to touch her in her own time. Um, she was timid, um, and when I heard her story, there was no surprise of why she was. Uh, she was just taking it really slow. Despite all that Annie has endured in her short two years of life, she charmed our staff and volunteers with her sweet nature and plenty of gentle kisses. So Annie surprised me one time. Um, we were working and just spending time together here in the training room. So what I did is I laid on the ground and she, she crawled up on my chest and put her paws up and um, just kind of said, you know, give me some attention, give me some affection. And I thought that was, um, I, I was surprised when she did that. I was in the shelter for a vet appointment with this guy. And as soon as I saw her, I just knew I had to help her. Uh, at first she was really nervous. You could tell she wasn't used to a home environment. She would flinch when you would touch her. Um, but she was so sweet with my foster animals, my foster cats, my dogs. When she got my home, she she really gained the confidence that she, that she needed, and, and she became a dog again, a happy, loving dog. And um, I was able to really find her the perfect home, the perfect adopters, and, and that was the best gift I could have given her. Thankfully, Annie was equipped with more resilience than the average dog. Once she realized she was surrounded by friends, she was able to heal physically and over time, mentally, by establishing love and trust with people. So despite her physical wounds, Annie has a very sweet and gentle disposition. She charmed us right away with her cuddles and her kisses. When we first brought her home, um, she was very timid and would follow us around the house constantly uh, for reassurance. 
Um, but in the time that we've had her, she has become very independent. She's very curious and playful. Um, and her emerging tail wag is a sign of her growing happiness. Yeah, in spite of her rocky beginnings, um, she's grown in to be the best girl. Mm, her scars are just a small part of her story. She has so much life to live and we're very grateful that it's with us. The Anti-Cruelty Society is proud to have an open door to compassion for any animal in need, and especially for dogs like Annie. Animals are welcome into our care regardless of species, age, condition, or temperament, because we know that with care and compassion, we can change lives. Lives like Annie's. Visit anticruelty.org slash donate to support the vital work of the Anti-Cruelty Society. Ah, was that an amazing story or what? Tara, thank you for all the fostering that you do. That is so amazing. And Annie is just one of the thousands of animals in need that are cared for by the society every year. Look, you can help support animals like Annie by participating in the society's Pour Your Heart Out silent auction. There are so many cool packages, including a weekend getaway to historic Galena, Illinois. I gotta tell you, by the way, if you've never been to Galena, you will not feel like you're in Illinois. The hills, the green, it is amazing. And there's even a restaurant there that Al Capone used to eat in. I asked for his booth. You can sit there too. There's gonna be a picnic and tour of Millennium Park. And, and by the way, if, hey, if you're a WGN fan or you like fiction, I'm even donating personalized signed copies of my books, Assume Guilt, and the one that just came out, Assume Treason. Both of them can be yours if you bid on them. Now you can also support the society by donating to Pick a Pet, where you will receive a pet's photo and paw written note, or simply make a donation to the Anti-Cruelty Society to help continue their important work. That's okay too. Bidding for silent auction packages will remain open until 5 p.m. on Friday, February 26th. So please remember that, 5 p.m. Friday, February 26th. Don't let that time go. Now, let's relax and watch an expert mixologist from our sponsor, Tito's Handmade Vodka, who will show us how to make a mm, strawberry jalapeno Tito Rita. At Tito's Handmade Vodka, dogs have been part of our story for over 20 years. Since we started, strays have been wandering up to the distillery. We feed them, get them healthy, and someone here always falls in love and brings them home. They chose us early on, so we were naturally inspired to help them in every way we can. We're vodka for dog people. Our program is built on over 800 annual animal-related nonprofit partnerships, events, and campaigns. Each one shares the goal to better lives of pets and their families far and wide. We support other companies' efforts to create dog-friendly work environments like ours. And 100% of the net proceeds from Dog's Wax sold on our web store benefit Amanda Pets' affordable veterinary services at their ever-expanding system of clinics. There's always dogs around at Tito's. We wouldn't know what to do without them. for a cocktail. My name is Christina Crean. I am the Senior Texas Sales Coordinator at Tito's Handmade Vodka. Today I'll be showing you how to make one of my favorite cocktails, a strawberry jalapeno Tito Rita. We're gonna start by putting a rim on the glass. I like spicy, so I have a spicy salt mixture here. Just gonna take this lime wedge, run it around, dunk that in the spicy salt. I'm gonna grab my shaker tin and start with a little muddling. Add enough strawberry slices to make about one full strawberry. A couple jalapenos to fit your spice preference. Muddle those guys, squish them up a little bit. And then add some ice. We'll grab the Tito's Handmade Vodka, or two ounces. We will do an ounce of orange liqueur, one ounce of lime juice, a little squeeze of simple. Shake this guy up. Dump that bad boy just like a bad boyfriend. <laughs> and just to make it look pretty, I'm going to take a little strawberry slice and a lime mule, and there you go. Cheers to your very own strawberry jalapeno Tito Rita.
One of my favorite things about working for Tito's Handmade Vodka is the opportunity to be able to bring my dog to work. Having that companion by my side whenever I feel it is necessary is just really nice. The rumors are true, we have co-workers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cheers to Tito's for that fun recipe. Hey, by the way, did you know you can have your very own Anti-Cruelty Society branded glasses? That's actually what this is. They're available for sale as part of the event packages. Visit anticruelty.org slash pour to pick up a set. I'm going to get a set. Event packages also include options to add a bottle of Tito's handmade vodka and a basket of tasty snacks. These are going to be available through, you remember the date, Friday, February 26th at 5 p.m. Now, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this drink, and I know that you're going to enjoy our next performance. Jeff Jenkins is going to show you that if you treat them with kindness, you really can teach an old dog a few new tricks. Cheers. Canines for Kindness is an inspirational, educational, interactive program featuring three remarkable rescued dogs and their person. We demonstrate the amazing things these dogs can do from obedience to agility, even some eye-popping circus tricks. And we talk about how all of this was accomplished by using patience, positivity, and kindness. I train Rosie, Ricky, and Bobby using positive reinforcement training. A lot of verbal praise, physical praise, and of course, a pocket full of treats. And we talk a lot about how we feel better when we're treated with patience, positivity, kindness, and empathy. So that's the way we should treat our pets. What kind of dogs are these? Well, they're rescue dogs, of course. There are so many dogs out there in shelters across the country waiting for their forever home. We just consider ourselves very lucky that we're able to provide a safe, loving home for Rosie and Ricky and Bobby. And we always say, as much as we rescued them, well, they rescued us too. With our thanks to Jeff, Jeff, oh my God, that those are such incredibly talented dogs that you've trained. You know, the bond that Jeff has with dogs is such an amazing example of what compassion in action can do for pets and people. Now look, we've seen Annie and Jeff's dogs. Let's take a moment to hear from some of the coolest cats at the society taking a short, shameless little kitten break. Each year, we see over 1,000 kittens come through our doors. This year, more than ever, we'll need the support of our community to ensure we give each of these tiny felines the best possible start at life. With the pandemic impacting local spay-neuter efforts, plus an unseasonably warm winter, we're expecting a kitten boom this spring. Help us support the growth and development of these tiny felines this kitten season and beyond by donating now at anticruelty.org slash donate. Our kittens and the fosters and staff who care for them, thank you in advance. Did you love watching those kittens? <laughs> I gotta tell you, I, Pumpernickel enjoyed it. Watching these kittens get healthy and find forever homes. Look, that's what Pour Your Heart Out is really about helping care for cats and dogs and other animals in need. Maybe sipping a drink or two, celebrating the impact you make when you support the Anti-Cruelty Society. Right, Pumpernickel? Hang with me. You can help animals in need by making a gift now, bidding on silent auction items, enjoying sips and snacks from one of the Pour Your Heart Out event packages. And now, we're gonna celebrate some dedicated people. People, Pumpernickel went above and beyond this year. With the help of Tracy Elliott, CEO and President of the Anti-Cruelty Society, he's going to present the inaugural Compassion in Action Award, and Pumpernickel and I are going to watch. Thank you for joining us at this year's virtual Pour Your Heart Out. Your support helps us provide for animals in need across the Chicago area. Pets have been severely impacted by the pandemic, and we want to keep pets and their families together. Many pet owners couldn't afford food for their beloved animals. So the Anti-Cruelty Society launched its pop-up pet food pantry program that helps provide struggling communities with a way to help feed their pets. 
We partnered with two Chicago communities in particular to distribute thousands of pounds of cat and dog food. It was all part of our mission to show compassion in action. I've joined our staff and volunteers at these pop-up pet food pantries, and it's wonderful to see how Alderman Beal, Mr. Nelson, and their organizations are truly making a difference in strengthening the human-animal bond. It is my honor to present this Compassion in Action Award to Alderman Beal and Mr. Nelson for going above and beyond to help us support pets and people. Since 1999, Alderman Beal has served the communities of the Ninth Ward, which include Chatham, Roseland, Pullman, Washington Heights, West Pullman, and Riverdale. In 2020, in the midst of the pandemic, the Anti-Cruelty Society reached out to Alderman Beal and his team to see if they wanted to partner with us to provide pet food to families in the Ninth Ward. Alderman Beal and his group immediately responded, helping us to create the first ever neighborhood pop-up pet food pantry. After that first initial successful event, Alderman Beal invited the society to provide pet food at monthly food distribution events his office held in partnership with Metropolitan Family Services and the Greater Chicago Food Depository. Thanks to Alderman Beal's leadership and support, the Anti-Cruelty Society was able to distribute over 42,000 pounds of pet food which is approximately over 166,000 meals to support families with pets in the Ninth Ward. Hello, this is Ninth Ward Alderman Anthony Beal. I would like to thank the Anti-Cruelty Society, President and CEO Tracy Elliott, and the Board of Directors for honoring me with the Society First Compassion in Action Award. We are grateful to be recognized for our hard work in not only preserving families in the Ninth Ward, but to provide support for the animals in need. We look forward to continuing our partnership with organizations like the Anti-Cruelty Society to provide needed support for families and their pets here in the Ninth Ward. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Hi, I'm Carlos Nelson. And I'm Tanya Nelson. My wife and I are here representing the Greater Auburn Gresham Development Corporation. And we are so very honored to receive the Anti-Cruelty Society's inaugural Compassion in Action Award. The Greater Auburn Gresham Development Corporation provides comprehensive community development services, programs, and resources to residents and businesses on Chicago's South Side. The Anti-Cruelty Society reached out to GAGDC to bring volunteers and pet food for dog and cat owners for the August 25th pet pop-up. GAGDC, along with the many volunteers, not only provided food items for 1,200 residents, but many of those residents had their dogs with them on that beautiful sunny Tuesday in August. GAGDC and the Anti-Cruelty Society gave away every single 15-pound bag of dog food and every four-pound bag of cat food, along with the many pet treats that actually looked like delicious cookies. We were thrilled to provide this service to pet owners, but even more excited about a growing relationship with the Anti-Cruelty Society. It is a great honor to receive the Anti-Cruelty Society's first Compassion in Action Award. And let me offer my congratulations to Carlos Nelson and to my buddy, Alderman Tony Beal, the Ninth Ward. Congratulations, guys. Their work has made such a difference in the lives of thousands of Chicago pet owners and their families. And now it's your opportunity to help by donating. You still have time to support the Anti-Cruelty Society by bidding on those silent auction packages. You can make a donation to pick a pet, receive a photo and that paw written note from one of our special animals, or by making a gift that will pay for a cat or dog's medical care. Well, we've come to the end of the virtual Pour Your Heart Out event. You can still participate. Remember, you've got that content until Friday, February 26th at 5 p.m. to watch this and keep your bidding going. And I hope you'll do that. Have your friends do it as well. You know, next year, we all hope that we are going to be in person and together for this a great event. I want to be able to shake your hand and hug you for the work you are doing. But this year, we are so very thankful that you were able to join us virtually. And we want to give special thanks to all of our sponsors, Dr. Sheldon and Paulette Rubin, Steve Klein, Swanson Martin and Bell, LLP, Glenn Silverman, 
an in-touch solution. And kudos to everybody who helped with this event, Annie, and everybody caring for her, Tito's Handmade Vodka and Jeff Jenkins. Thank you to everyone who bid and will continue to bid on silent auction packages or made a gift or will make a gift. And a special thank you for all who joined us to celebrate the Anti-Cruelty Society's Compassion in Action. Just by taking the time to join us at Pour Your Heart Out, you are supporting animals in need all around Chicago. And we are so grateful for your support. I'm Paul Lisnick. Thanks for watching me and joining me. And for now, and all of my dogs and cats and all the other animals and friends at Anti-Cruelty Society, we'll just say farewell for now.